what spoke to me about Ross's writing is uh, his subtle way of addressing current events, political issues, and just everyday mundane struggles through like subtle and uh, distinct humor. I've known the director, Sarah, <laughs> for about four or five years now. The atmosphere she has when she directs is, is uh, conducive to creating because she's very accepting, she listens, uh, she, she gives you the freedom to do what, you're, what you want to do, and if you have a suggestion, um, she usually takes it. And even when there's a time crunch, I feel like she, there's just a sense with her that you have all the time in the world. One of the hard things about Duncan and I imagine that it's something that anybody who plays somebody who has some mental health issue is to dumb them down or think of them like a child. That's a mistake. It's an easy choice and that's something that you want to avoid, like the plague. In terms of who he is, is that it's actually quite the opposite. He, I think that Duncan thinks of himself as probably the smartest man in the ward. He's also probably the most honorable man in the ward. Whether or not that, that is actually true is up for everybody else to decide. In terms of the audience uh, reacting to a British script, that's what's great about Ross's writing as well. It is solely based in the UK and these characters are all British. The humor and the subject matter all speaks to a universal audience and everyone can relate to what the characters want and what they're going through. In a very short time we've gotten to know each other and it is a, uh, we've become a family on uh, rehearsing this show. But I think just the, the basic uh, the, the human longings the, for love and affection to give and receive. I mean, that is what these, these characters are ultimately looking for, all of them. There are some things that maybe an American audience would miss, but that's not what the play's about. The play's not about the fact that it's set in Britain. It's, that doesn't matter. The play could be set in America. You just have to change some lines. What's really going on is this sadly, impotently, um, uncontrolled lives everybody has in this play and how they struggle to try to get some control over it. They're very simple themes, but uh, they're fleshed out in a way, and I think anyone can relate to that, um, this desire uh, uh, to connect to, to another human being. And they try so hard to do that, and, and with such earnestness and, and, and sometimes innocence. Actually, that's, there's a lot of innocence in, in trying to attain that love in this play. And it just doesn't like, you know, kids in a high school dance, they just can't quite connect. Um, and that's, the, I think, the tragedy uh, of the play.